you still? I've been calling you all night and all morning. I've been trying to get answers. That body that they found in that building on Bristol Street, the one that Franco blew up. Well, what did you find? You know, well, it turns out I don't have any friends in law enforcement after all. They're telling me to go through the proper channels. I guess now they're performing an autopsy. You know, it's like some sick joke because it's not as if Claudia wasn't mistreated enough while she was alive. Now that she's dead, her body's being dragged to hell and back. Now, you don't know that that's Claudia's body. Right, and I can only hope. That way I can give her the proper burial that she deserves. <laughs> You're worried about me. Hmm? Lucky guess. Well, maybe you're worried that the coroner's gonna find some evidence linking Sonny to Claudia's murder? No, we can only hope. You're an outsider. Call me late, all right, if you want. Hey, I uh, haven't had a chance to say I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, my sister took your pregnant wife hostage at gunpoint. You don't really owe me your condolences. Well, I have a brother who's given me a lot of grief. Doesn't mean I love him any less, so you have the right to grieve for your sister. Well, not everybody feels that way. But you're probably looking at the upside of this, huh? How's that? Well, my sister paid with her life for her mistakes. And now you possibly get the bonus of seeing Sonny go to prison for it? Not a bad deal. He's really hurting. Did I say something wrong? It's not what you said, Jax. It's the way you said it. You're practically gloating when you walked in the room. Well, then he misunderstood. I'm not looking forward to Sonny's arrest. It's going to devastate my family. But it has to be done. You want to know what I did last night? I was uh, packing up everyone because we were going to flee the country. Because some psycho got into my daughter's room and abducted my wife. What? Franco got hold of Carla? Yeah, but she's fine. Jason found her. Well, you, you can't blame this Franco thing on Sonny. I blame Sonny for his typical reaction to danger. You see, he was trying to stop us from leaving. He shut up at my door and was manipulating Carly and the boys. Because safeguarding his own pride is more important than their lives. I swear, sometimes I think that man would rather die than spend one second looking weak. Hey, you know what? Sonny's not the victim here. There's not a person in Port Charles who won't be better off with him behind bars. And that includes your son. Well, that's assuming that my son never knows he put his father in prison. If Dante does find out the truth, I'm sure he will find consolation in the fact that he saved his little brothers from the life that Sonny was preparing for them. Maybe. Maybe. I kind of doubt that Carly and the boys are going to see it that way. Yeah. I thought I could hide my part in Sonny's arrest, but I realized that I don't want to. Once Sonny's arrested, I'm going to tell Carly the truth. That Sonny was a constant danger to our family and... I helped arrest them. Well, that is awfully stand up, you Jax. I hope you're prepared for the consequences. Yeah. Whole thing could uh, backfire on me, couldn't it? That's why I'm going to make the most of it. I'm going to spend a lot of time with my family from now on. We're going to go skiing in Vermont, and I'll be back whenever I get back. Hey, hey you got a minute? Yeah. The uh, autopsy on the Jane Doe from the Bristol Street explosion? What about it? You got any results? It's the end of the day. Are you PCPD? Nope, just a concerned citizen. Information about autopsies is privileged. Well, then I guess you shouldn't be talking to me then, should you? You sounded like a cop. Hey, great minds. I couldn't get anything out of that guy, though. You to check out that body's Claudius? Yeah, just save it, Detective out. Falconary. How did you find out? Oh, we're in you and Lola talking. That's one hell of a situation you put her in, you know? Yeah, that? you know what? Well, you just leave Lola out of this. Oh, right. So you pull her out of freezing water and burning buildings, and all of a sudden you're entitled. Okay, you know what? My, my mother shouldn't be a part of this either. Okay? Agreed. Good. So if you're uh, thinking of fitting me for some cement shoes, I'm, uh, you know, nine and a half, ten. Always with the jokes, huh? You know, somehow I doubt that Sonny would be laughing. If he finds out about this, you're not going to end up over there in the morgue. No, no, no. There's going to be pieces of you scattered from here to Bensonhurst. You said if? You want to take Sonny down? Be my guest. Okay, then.
You said you'd help me find my sister's body, and I thought you were seeking out some sort of justice for Claudia. It turns out you were using the situation to get it sunny, huh? Look, we don't even know if this is Claudia's body. When the report comes out, why don't you know, we take it You know, it's funny how my sister, all of a sudden, now that she's dead, is more used than when she was alive. I'll give you that. I respect you, Johnny, and I uh, hope that goes both ways. You and I share one thing, all right? That's our agenda. Don't make the mistake of confusing it with friendship or respect, all right? Uh, is Stone Cold on the premises, or, or Mr. Sir? Uh, neither. Why, what do you got? You got news? What? How is this, Spinelli? I've been monitoring the PCPD mainframe. The, uh, autopsy and the body from the explosion. Yeah. Uh, the preliminary report is in. The deceased is indeed Claudia. You have my most heartfelt sympathy at this confirmation. How'd she die? Blunt force trauma to the head. It looks like this just became a murder investigation. 